Good morning GCSE art students. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a version of your portraits using string and I'll post a separate video on how to make one of these if you have some garden wire or pipe cleaners that you could use but today we're going to make one using some wool and what you're going to need is a couple of pieces of cardboard and maybe a drawing that you did last week I've put mine inside a poly pocket to protect it and I'm going to use it as a template for my wool you'll need some scissors, wool or string I quite like to use coloured wool um, and I've got a second piece of cardboard that I'm going to stick my string portrait to afterwards I've also got a pot with some PVA in and I'm going to cut quite a long piece of string to start with and just dip it into the PVA. It's going to be messy. If you don't want to get your hands messy, try and put some rubber gloves on. To stop you from getting all sticky and this is just so that our string when we've finished with it can dry and stick to the cardboard so I'm using my drawing from last week which is continuous line don't worry about getting glue on the poly pocket we can throw that away afterwards so I'm going to start as if I was drawing using continuous line. Now, it may be that some of the string doesn't want to come off your fingers. Don't worry about that. We're using this as a template following the line of the pencil on the drawing. This is certainly a little bit more tricky, I think, than using wire. Because it just wants to stick to you. Around the nose. Get the shape of the nose. This is going to keep sticking. Just try and, if you can, stick to some of the lines on your drawing. Okay. Now. I'm going to snip my wool here because I quite like the eye as it is, I don't want to mess it up I'm going to try and follow the shape of the mouth again it's going to keep trying to move around, you could use some sellotape to hold these bits in place if you wanted to or avoid using glue altogether if you don't like the texture and just try and sellotape it to the background uh, fiddly You'll find you get quite a funny face doing it this way, but um, I find it amusing. The end result is going to look quite bizarre. There we go. Ooh. Chin. 
side of the face. I'm going to try, oh. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go with it and then rearrange it afterwards. So trying to follow the shape of the crazy hair. I'm not going to be able to follow that exactly. Stay there. Okay. I'm going to go around again. Just thicken up the shape. And I'm going to try and get the ear in there. Back over the top of the head. Oh, that's a big old ear. Pull that down. Okay. And the second ear. I'm going to try and get the end of my string. Oh, it's going to keep moving. What a nightmare. Try and get the end of my string to finish in the eye. Now, I will rearrange any bits that have moved before I stick it to my card. Now everything's sticking to me. There we go. Stop, stop, stop sticking. Stop sticking. Oh, come on. It's not a happy bunny. Sometimes using something that isn't covered in glue <laughs> is easier. Right, I'm going to go in with the end of the scissors and just rearrange some of these lines so my mouth fell apart a bit there. Pull that back into line. There we are. So the idea is that continuous line gives you quite an abstract effect. I'm going to just push these around a bit to get them where I want them. So don't worry too much if the, the whole thing goes a bit crazy. And the next thing I'm going to do, which is why I need two pieces of card, I'm going to stick my cardboard to the top of my drawing and use the cardboard underneath to flip it. So to see the back. Now you may be able to gently peel it off and just reposition any of it that moves. Ta-da! So you can wipe your picture clean. It's inside a poly pocket so it hasn't been damaged by any glue so you can just wipe that clean and then leave this to dry and if you do want to cut any more wool or add any more cheekbones or anything in then you can. Once it's dry you can also go in and paint some of these line areas, some of the blocks that you've got coming up from where the string has gone around now that is the strangest portrait I've ever seen but that is your string portrait using continuous line thank you for watching